<clears throat> All right, welcome back to uh, One Drop Shower Ministry Preparedness. Uh, we got cut off earlier before, so continuing now just with the um, news, the current events going on around the world, according to just this one website of the information that's not in the media, uh, except maybe this um, Harvey storm going down in, um, in Texas there in the Gulf. Jesus, what a mess that is. Actually, not yet, but it can become a great mess. And I say it's a mess because I look at all these spaghetti models they have, all the different uh, possible trajectories of this thing. And it's like medieval days we live in. It's, it's, it's really wacky. And the thing is people just try to push down each other's throat. It's not the truth. It's frustrating, let me tell you. Um, you know, a great example of that is I was at the uh, <clears throat> doctor's yesterday and I'm there for one thing, and then all of a sudden she's like, while you're here, you want a vaccine? <laughs> I had to laugh at her. I laughed at her, and she, like, shocked. You know, she looked, I said, I don't want that garbage in my system. <laughs> exactly what I told her. Uh, and, like, she wasn't even shocked that I said that. It's like she, you know, it's like she was used to hearing that. Um, but, you know, it's, it's weird. You go to a supermarket, they're like, free vaccine shots here, you know, pick up a loaf of bread and uh, a flu shot while you're here. No, thanks. I'll stick to my essential oils. Thank you. I'd rather, you know, be, be sick or uh, in pain um, and struggle through it uh, than have your toxic cocktails in my body. Thank you very much, but no thank you. Thank you very much. Let's see. Um, let me get my window set up here so we're not just looking at uh, an echo image here. Let me get to the map here. I call it a, uh, a quick map. Because it does have earthquakes, but so many other things. This is such a great site. It really is. I wish, I wish, if I was a multimillionaire, I would support this site. You know, get them uh, whatever it is they need, you know, to be stronger. Dutch Sense, another person, you know. Any any rich people out there listening to this, support these these alternative stations, including me. Got my hand up. Um, you know, BP Earthwatch, Paul Bagley, uh, Hagman and Hagman, Dutch Sense, um, uh, Stephen Ben Danoon, Dabu Seven. You know, these are uh, true patriot, God-fearing patriots for the most part. Um, some don't even talk about God, but but they give you news. They give you unfiltered, unadulterated news that's not biased with a spin and uh, or an agenda. And that, that's that's where the future is at. You know, you know, stocks are dropping on CNN. AT and T's gonna buy them out, dismantle them, say goodbye. Thank God, get them out of the airports at least right now. Excuse me. Uh, Gotta lower that. I like to keep the radio on. For those of you that have been watching me, you know that. Just have in the background. You guys got, uh, you know, same thing. You guys got car insurance, life insurance, health insurance. I got survival insurance in the form of a radio. Um, <clears throat> but there's no better insurance than Christ insurance. Invest in the heavenly kingdom. The kingdom currency, as Paul Begley would call it. All right, so we did some scripture before. Um, we're not going to do that now. Just current events. So let's get right into it. Uh, but let's say a quick prayer anyway for all these folks here, dear Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, please bless each and every person that's being affected by these tragic events around the world, Lord. Help them to prepare ahead in advance. Help them to recover, Lord. Please be with the children, Lord, and the elderly especially, Lord, that are affected by these catastrophic events, Lord. Help them to rebuild their lives, Lord. Give them courage and uh, wisdom and knowledge and understanding of why this is happening, Lord. Please comfort them, especially those parents, Lord, that have lost a child, Lord, or a child is suffering because of this, Lord. Please comfort them as much as you can, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> okay, so, all right, one day ago with two updates, Switzerland, level four of a landslide. Let's see what these updates are. Um, let me see the map first. I gotta make this larger. No, yeah, okay. I'll make this larger. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Hopefully you guys can read that. It's focused. If not, get some new glasses. <laughs> Rescue crews are searching for as many as 14 people, including Germans, Australians, and Swiss, who have been missing for more than a day after a landslide struck a remote Swiss valley in the Italian border. Um, authorities have evacuated around 100 people from the village of Bondo 
and airlifted hikers from nearby huts in the eastern canton of the Grissons after rocks and mud hit the area. Okay, so uh, pray for these folks here. Um, about 120 rescue workers are on the scene. Praise God for that. Okay, seems like they're on top of it. You know, you got these, you got a mountain coming down. You know, there's people around. Good luck finding them. Um, not going to be so easy. Uh, you know, you got tons and tons and tons of earth. But they got dog sniffers out there, metal detectors, who knows what else. Uh, um, sonogram, um, you know, GPR, ground penetrating radar. Okay, one hour ago, terror attack in Afghanistan again, uh, a level four. So the CIA is at it again. At least 20 people were killed and 50 others wounded when a suicide CIA bomber blew himself up inside a shite, shite mosque, a mosque, uh, a cabal, and uh, the latest violence that attacked the Afghan capital. I'm not going to read it further. Um, wait, it comes after days... It comes days after U.S. President Donald Trump cleared the way for thousands more American troops to be deployed in the war-torn country. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all a big show. It's all a big game. It's all a big puppet, you know, um, propaganda to the elite that moves moves these um, people and um, commodities, which in their eyes are the same, um, to strike fear, to tear down uh, rights, to build up government. I mean, that's their agenda, is a one-world government. But they can't do that without building themselves up first. Um, this way, then they all merge, and the people are not their equals. They don't consider us their equals anyway right now. They're, they do outlandish things that are uh, illegal, unconstitutional, lawlessness abounds in the land. It's in the Bible. So this is where we're at. We're, we're at lawlessness. I got a weak Wi-Fi signal. Why is that? Oh, boy. Hopefully we don't get disconnected. Yeah, I can, uh, I can juggle the car around. There we go. A little bit better. I moved the, I moved the laptop two inches to the left. and <laughs> got a better signal. All right. So another, uh, another uh, by design um, plot unfolding. Moving on. Um... Biological hazard in Australia uh, two hours ago. I'm looking to see uh, if any of my, and I haven't looked yet, um, so I'm curious. It should be popping up soon if my theory is right about the um, ammonia and chloride. It's been, I think, two or three days since uh, there's been a leak. Um, but this website doesn't detect or able to or confirm all or even know about all events that are going on around the world. You know, it's quite possible that you know, they, they miss a few. All right, these descriptions. Hundreds of dead crabs have washed up on a beach in Western Australia with authorities baffled about the cause. About 500 dead blue swimmer crabs were found by a member of the public at Belvedere Beach near uh, Bunbury in state south, is Australia, Thursday, that caused the mass die-off is not yet known. Samples have been sent to fisheries department for testing. So hopefully we'll get an update on that. Um, these are bottom feeders, crabs. Um, it's strange enough when the non-bottom feeders, such as uh, dolphins, whales, you know, just free-flowing, swimming uh, vertebrates, fishes, die off in masses. For the most part, you know, they're blaming it on algae or oxygen or, you know, some sort of contamination, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But now this is a whole new ball game. Crabs? Crabs. They're bottom feeders. Heavy sediment that may have not, that's not floated, that got the bottom without being diluted. Where is this? Australia. I'm wondering what it has to do with the tides. You know, these storms that are churning up, too, around the, around the uh, Pacific and the Tropical areas there, coming off the coast of Africa, um, have they churned something up? Has there been something um, unearthed, shifted, um, and they are now 
the victims of this? How many? Hundreds. All right, well, hundreds is one thing. Hundreds is nothing. You could fit, I could fit 100, 100 crabs in, in my passenger seat here. Um, so thousands, I wouldn't be worried about. Tens of thousands, eh, getting my attention. Hundreds of thousands and millions, yeah. Then there's something catastrophic wrong, but hundreds of crabs. But how do they, um, it's strange that they washed up, too, as well. So that, were they local? That means I would say that means they were local. It's got to be some sort of poisoning. Somebody dumped something in the water, some tributary, uh, the mouth of some river perhaps, went and affected them right there. But then now they're washing up. Do, did they float? Not, if you know the sign as well, tell me. They're doing toxicology reports. They're going to find a lot more than I can sit here and guess at. Um, well, if they floated, that means they were bloated. So, uh, more than likely a chemical that caused that. Hazmat, USA. Come on, let's see. Chlorine or ammonia, is it? I don't want it to be, but... A radioactive... Oh, Jesus. A radioactive device was reported missing on Thursday night from a Garner job site. This is like the third or fourth one that ha this has happened. Uh, they, two of them were in Mexico. Um, North Carolina now. These guys gotta lock this stuff up better. The device was the device uses radioactive material to test soils. Same thing as, as was in um, um, Mexico. Um, are they building nuclear bombs out of it? No. You know, are they threatening anybody? No. The device. You know, it's like a, a cell phone as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Dent's uh, construction official said handled inappropriately. The device poses a health and risk can. All right, so no big deal. Private contractor. Uh, why do you even report this, you know? You just open up a can of worms for yourself and red flags now. All sorts of agencies poking at you. Wouldn't even have reported it. Well, maybe they did to their insurance company and yada yada and then they report it. Who knows? Canada, heat wave five hours ago going on. Nova Scotia. Uh, Russia, some sort of accident, uh, vehicle accident, could be plane, train, car, bus. Biological hazard, USA, state of Washington. <clears throat> Let's see what that is. Got a couple of those, and then a epidemic, California. Come on, click. Trying to click on you there. Trying to get through this kind of quickly. Quick clicks. Uh, it's about 1 o'clock. Uh, King, King County Public Health is issuing a warning after a rabid bat was discovered. Okay, so we got some rabies floating around there. Where was that? California? Um, Washington, state of Washington. Montana, state of Montana, biological hazard. It's going to be the same thing. Uh, tested positive for the disease. Uh, Bruce, uh, Brucellos. The heifer, a heifer, a heifer is a, a cow, um, has tested positive for the disease brucellosis on a Montana ranch near Yellowstone. Oh, why isn't that a surprise? Hello, that's a petri dish of the world right there. Um, okay, a ranch testing a surveillance area placed under quarantine while the source of the infection is investigated. Um, I don't see any spread risk factor here they're doing. Um, area are subject to increased testing. Oh, I never heard of this. I gotta see what it is. Sounds like some sort of lung lung disease, like bronchitis. Uh, bacteria that infects bison and elk. Okay. It can cause animals to abort their young. Oh, boy. Uh, this is the ninth uh, affected herd since the creation of the SDA in 2010, since they've been measuring it by this agency of this method here. Um, um, transferable to humans? I don't know. Um, people do eat elk and bison and, obviously, heifer. So, what is it? Let's move on. You know, we had an alert here in Long Island of a uh, deadly... Uh, disease that horses are affected by horses. I wonder if that made this list here. Let's see, biological um, <clears throat> epidemic. Keep in mind, too, folks, that as chemtrails have been increasing probably a thousandfold over the past uh, 
few years. And I still am curious, no one's gotten back to me that they're spraying over the oceans as well. Um, which would signify something at least halfway of a of a um, ethical um, goal that they're trying to reach instead of just spraying the people. But as more and more diseases come about, panic sets in. People cry out for answers to the authorities. And spraying commences on the ground now. And it's already happening here in Long Island. I'm sure you guys can confirm other areas around you that spraying is on the ground. I remember growing up with this stuff. I remember people chasing after, like it was a game as a child. I don't know if I did it. Um, but seeing children, like, playing in the fog of this spraying for mosquitoes and bugs in the, in the 60s and 70s. Scary. They're running behind the machine that's spraying the fog like it's, like it's a, you know, a party. <laughs> So, uh, be wary of this by design. It can be by design. As we get more and more plagues and diseases and pestilences and viruses popping up, their only solution is going to be to spray us. All right, what's going on here? Epidemic hazard. Uh, the Army Corps of Engineers warning a trucker, a trucky area, campers to take precautions to avoid contracting plague. Oh, Look at that. California, Department of Public Health Risk. Um, watch out for... Um, oh, oh the, is placing... The Army Corps of Engineers placing pesticides, uh, insecticides, I'm sorry, treated bait stations throughout a alpine meadows, campgrounds to reduce presence of fleas that can carry the disease. So you got the bubonic plague out in the campgrounds, Army Corps of Engineers coming in and and putting poison out for the fleas. Doesn't sound good to me, folks. It rains. That stuff gets all out into the uh, water wells. Who knows what other animals are coming across it, eating it, dying off. Um, symptoms that usually show up two weeks of expo within two weeks of exposure include fever, nausea, weakness, swollen nymphs. All right. That doesn't sound like bubonic plague, so it's maybe some other type of plague that they have out there, like hantavirus or something. But they're calling it a plague. California, more than likely, it's, it's the same one that they have out there in Arizona desert with the prairie dogs uh, that have just been decimated from the bubonic plague. Who knows where that is? Now, what's going on with that update? Um, let's see. Environmental pollution, state of Alabama, level two. Extreme weather, state of Alaska. Alaska's got extreme weather. I think I saw something about that. Uh, warm weather, showing people showing uh, a way, uh, some type of like an oasis. <sighs> too many secrets out there, especially in the Arctic. They got them too. That was released from that footage uh, from that guy Pike, I think it was, back in the uh, 40s, 30s or 40s. Heavy rainfall in the southeast Alaska city, uh, Ketchikan caused. Road damage, floods, homes prompted a visit from extra personnel in the State Department of Transportation. Received 7 to 10 inches. Um, that's not bad. Uh, of rain Monday, but that's raining on mountain tops and uh, snowy area. It's bringing down, it could bring floods. Very hilly over there. The department uh, sent hydrological, hydrological engineer to the region Department of Transportation, maintain foreman to investigate uh, flood damages. Okay. I got it rough enough out there in Alaska. You know, these little things cause big problems. Well, that was, uh, was that 12 hours ago? Yeah. Okay, next. Uh, wild forest fire in British Columbia, level 3. That's going to be pretty bad. Biological hazard, state of Montana, 12 hours ago. Did I do the news yesterday? I don't remember. Um, I think so. Montana wildlife officials are finding more dead fish in the Yellowstone River and trying to determine if they were killed because of a parasite that prompted a shutdown of a popular waterway last year. Montana Fish Wildlife Park said it, its workers uh, found 19 dead Montana whitefish, whitefish on uh, Thursday in the Paradise Valley upstream of Livingston, 
70 mi- 79 dead fish, including one trout, had earlier been found downstream of Livingston. They shut down a 183 stretch of the Yellowstone last year after the disease caused by an invasion of parasite killed tens of thousands of whitefish. Um, fisheries management, uh, yada, yada, yada. Thursday, the same area of the hardest hit summer by uh, proliferated, proliferative kidney disease. Uh, we've got a staff out floating in the river and anticipate we'll know by the middle of next week. Protecting the health of the river and fishery is our top priority. Yeah, they do, t- I gotta tell you, they do take their uh, wild fish in life, they, they do take their uh, waterways seriously, which is a good thing. Um, sometimes they overdo it. Uh, they overprotect. Uh, some of these rules and laws and regulations are just, oh, how do I say it in a Christian way? <laughs> uh, uh, rude? How about that? Uh, I don't want to say unconstitutional. They just over overkill. <clears throat> you know, they just they overdo it. Um, and I laugh because I, I reflect upon a couple of years ago when I went upstate New York. And I always, you know, when I go away, I always carry a fishing pole with me. And um, I see the guy's fishing, and, you know, I, I say, hey, how's the catch going? Here you go. Like, oh, you know, a little bit here and there. But like, yeah, I was thinking of throwing a line in. And he has this um, badge, like, around his neck, like, hanging, like an ID badge. And I was like, what's that? He's like, oh, that's, he's like, you don't know what that is? I'm like, no, what is it? He said, that's so I could fish. He's like, that's my license to fish. I'm like, what do you mean a license to fish? I was like, yeah. He's like, well, if you want to put a line in the water, you know, I don't know if it was just around the whole country, but around here, you have to have a license. I said, but I'm fishing. No, but you have to have, you have to go down and get a permit and get get authorized. And, and I don't know if you have to take a test or pass or pass an exam or anything, but you have to pay a fee and get a license and renew it. Uh, this conversation went on for like 20 minutes. I was just baffled about this and uh, appalled. About, um, you know, what's next? You know, license to breathe? Well, everything everything and anything the government can tax to find a reason to build another agency or a bigger agency, they do. Uh, frustrating. It's like you live on the planet, you're born on the planet, you have to pay to be on the planet, you have to pay, even if you're dead, death tax, you have to pay, it's... When does it end? Oh, Christ, please come soon. Please, it's madness down here. Madness, Christ. <laughs> we need our Savior back now. Immediately. Andre. Por favor. All right, moving on. Uh, I think we're up to a day now. Biological. Uh, Montana, we just did. Uh, Sudan, we did that yesterday. Okay, we did do that yesterday. Hey, what are going on? Updates, anything? Um, two days ago, two updates, flash flood, United Kingdom and Ireland. We did that yesterday, six, seven days. Okay. Um, long-term events. Um, don't see any updates that we didn't do already. And so long ago. Okay. Um, heat wave, Iraq on the update. That's it. I don't see uh, Yemen got knocked off the grid here. That's still going on over there with the uh, cholera. It's out of control. Earthquakes. I'm just going to read the big ones. It's the past 100 earth- earthquakes in the past uh, 16, looks like 15, 16 hours. Um, one that just happened here, Hazmat, North Carolina. Let's see if we click on that, get that. Radioactive device. Oh, this is an update. Okay. Uh, missing on Thursday night was found Friday morning when the worker returned it. All right. Now, listen. Took it home by mistake. Everyone's packing up tools. Or my assistant is packing up. me. You know, my apprentice is packing up tools. Threw it in my bag. Here it is. Uh, the worker said he put the device in his trunk after finding it left behind at the work site. Amen. Now, now you know, this guy's going to be probed. By the Nuclear uh, Regulatory Commission, probably the FBI, probably, uh, you know, OSHA. And the, the amount of worms, instead of just shutting your mouth for 24 hours and figuring out and making some phone calls, guys, go through your equipment, or I left this behind, forget about it. They're lucky if they get a license next year for construction. 
That's how bad it's going to be. They're definitely red flagged. They're in the black book. That's a shame. All right. I don't see any big earthquakes. Twos, threes, and fours. That's it. Next. Uh, no tsunamis. Um, volcanoes. Today is the 25th of August, 2017. So we're going to look at the 24th and 25th for... Um, and we'll get back to the hurricane over here in a second for any active volcanoes. So 24th and 25th. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's going to be a record. Eight. Almost a record. Eight uh, volcanoes huffing and puffing. Uh, nothing of an emergency. Just normal activity of them rumbling. Uh, but once they reach a certain degree of, um, I guess, seismic activity, it uh, gets put on the map here and it gets... Uh, elevated a couple levels so eight that means there uh, is a lot of pressure going on on the planet coming more than likely cosmically into the mantle and that reacts and pushes it up with the magma okay so we have uh this oh, are you kidding me wow look at this thing harvey harvey's kicking uh 213 kilometers an hour gust wind gusts this is strong folks this has got to be a category three by now um the uh, waves, um, I don't know what this means. HPA 947s high. Noah's reporting on this. Um, let's see about this. Wow, wow, wow. This is some powerful, powerful winds here. I don't know what that converts to, but it's definitely, um, that's two something. It's definitely in the high hundreds miles per hour of wind gusts. Let's see. Um, alert, summary. Uh, routes. Let's see if we get any updated routes from NOAA here on the trajectory of this. Uh, why they got it so far away? Zoom, zoom, zoom. All right. So they got it uh, predicted here for uh, going straight in. Uh, this is where its current location is at number two here. Uh, number three is um, by 6 p.m. tonight. I guess that's central time. Um, how fast was it moving, did it say? Oh, darn it. I clicked on the wrong one. All right, let's still use that button. Um, speed, 7 to... It's moving slow. Oh, man, this thing is dragging. Um, let me click on that again. Sorry about that. Okay, routes... <clears throat> Critical infrastructure. I definitely want to see that. There's definitely some oil well. This is definitely messing with the oil. A lot of oil production out here. Um, so it's already hitting land, folks. This is already um, BP Earthwatch did a video on this. You got a lot of roads along here. Um, 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. This is this is uh, the core of it. Is the eye of the storm will be inland. I guess that's what they go by, right? The, the eye of the storm. So this thing is, I don't know how, what this distance is. 150, 200 miles maybe out. And uh, within 24 hours, it's going to be inland. Not knowing what it's going to do from there. It's, it's uh, you know, anyone's best guess. Not easy to predict these things because of so many variables. Temperature and land and water and atmospheric pressure and uh, jet streams, yada, yada, yada. Uh, geoengineering as well. We'll throw that in there as well, too. Who's who's the highest bidder? <laughs> who's the highest bidder to have it wipe out Dallas? <clears throat> um, let's see what this thing says. Wave heights, 5 meters, 6 meters, uh, so nothing big there. But the wind, the wind is the killer here, it looks like. Heavy, heavy winds. Right now, it looks like it's the worst in the winds right now, and... Uh, Tomorrow morning, then it looks like it's going to start dying down. Uh, but still, some pretty pretty strong winds. So the damage is now. Now's the time to. If they have people haven't gotten out already by now, um, I don't know if they can. It's definitely getting flooding there, and uh, we'll see what we'll see what's happening on YouTube. Let's go to YouTube. Uh, I wanted to check out something else. Oh, critical infrastructures. Let's see what's about there. Oh my God! Look at this. Nine airports. Ten. Oh, uh, 10 uh, seaports for marine uh, boats. Nuclear power plants, one. Five reservoirs, 57 hospitals. Oh, man. Could this thing have picked a worse... It could have picked the worst place to hit. 
This is horrible. Horrible. Look at all these airports. Um, marine ports, you know, where the ships stop. You know, is there a... Um, what if there's a Navy Yard or something here, maybe? I wouldn't doubt it. It's Texas. Um, South Texas uh, nuclear power plant. Uh, reservoirs, five reservoirs here. Hospitals. A lot of hospitals. 57 hospitals. Jesus, look at all these hospitals. This is a major, major problem. Uh, should that has come about into a, uh, a storm severity, it doesn't die down hitting land. All right, check out YouTube. Uh, why are you... All right, subscriptions. Look at all the storm reports. Oh, really? BP Earthwatch did one, yep. Uh, let's see. Pharmaceutical medicines that instantly make your health worse. <laughs> that should be good, the health ranger. He's been doing a lot of great videos lately. Uh, no genetic engineering needed. Simple vinegar can help plants resist drought, scientists find. Wow, look at that. Work with nature, blacksmithing, how to make natural fire clay cement. Episode 5, uh, White House Press Briefing with Press Secretary. Um, what does that say? No, Sarah Sanders. Yeah. Hold on a second. I can adjust my laptop. It's falling down. Okay. okay, Dr. Josh Ash. Lemongrass oil benefits and uses. Paul Begley, breaking explosion in a mosque. Okay, we did that. Um, Christ's forgiveness. Paul Begley, hurricane. Uh, let's see. Rand Paul. Blowback. Israeli threatens Syria over Iran. BP Earthwatch did the hurricane update uh, one hour ago, um, so go check that out. Everything you need to know about Brazil Part 2. Morris 108. Chemtrails. Um, you, know, you know, you see these shows, and I know I'm going to be the hypocrite of this one day, like I was reading the scripture this morning, what Jesus said. Um, you see these shows that have all these... Um, I don't want to say fancy uh, ways about them design set designs or you know their it's like their life and I I hope I actually hope to get there one day, but what do you if you had to break it down like a business and some of these are businesses for people per hour per day per like like if you are a financial advisor to this and you say listen you brought in last month say twenty thousand dollars. Break that up to, say, a 40-hour work week. You spent, you know, you, you guys earned so much per hour. You produced so many hours of footage. Uh, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Break it all down. And when it, com when it comes down to it, it's insufficient because of the quality, that the, the, the amount of dollars that goes into produce the quality that you produce. As compared to now Morris here... 108 Morris 108, that produces probably just as much content for a fraction, like a hundredth, one hundredth percent of a fraction, one one hundredth. Um, you give this guy five dollars, he's doing a show for a week. I'm serious, because he lives in Cambodia, dirt, dirt poor, but he puts out great quality, interesting, up to date media. Alternative media. So, consider that. Next time you're, you're thinking about, you know, putting a few dollars somewhere to, you know, one of these, which everybody wants, including myself. Um, some people don't, actually, you know. But they, they'll, they'll take it anyway in the form of a gift or a money or something. Um, but this guy Morris in Cambodia, $5 goes a long way for him. You donate $5 to me, I'm getting lunch. When I was in Cambodia, you're eating for a week. You know, see what I'm saying? Chemtrails, MN. How come this, uh, usually I hold the mouse over this and it pops up the, um, which is annoying, but good too, so you guys can see it. 
their um, logo. Undercover researcher infiltrates the deep web. This is what she finds. I've heard of that before. Deep web? I thought it was called something else. Web. Dark web. All right. Pure living for life. Uh, drilling concrete makes... Uh, makes me angry. Uh, excuse me a second. Uh, snooze. Alarms. Phone. Let me put this thing on vibrate. I'll be done in 10 minutes, but... All right, White House, uh, weekly dress, um, good guys, let's see, who else? Oh, Chris Ann Hall, this should be great, I gotta watch this. <clears throat> um, Chris Ann Hall, great constitutionalist attorney, she goes around the country giving seminars and training, even if it's one-on-one, -on -one, people in office, politicians, legislation, uh, assemblymen, congressmen, um, she goes around teaching them about the Constitution, they hire her. Get together, a group of you guys, you know, whatever, $20,000 or something. I'm going to sit with you for the weekend and tell you what the Constitution says, what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, how you can get more votes, make people happier, and stop breaking the law and being lawless. <clears throat> she should go around with a sheriff, too. Get Sheriff Mac with you, Chris Ann Hall, and um, start arresting people. How's that? Tell them how to arrest people. Well, there it is. That pops up. They're sitting there for a minute. So we'll watch that. That should be great. <laughs> I'm sorry. And a Muslim president. <laughs> oh, boy. What a bit. How did he ever get into office? I mean, that's that's why you think, that's why people pretty much know that it's all it's all fixed. There's no more elections. It's selections. Because a man like that should never have been into, into, into the White House. Shouldn't even be governor. <clears throat> Sad. A uh, request for final set of corrections to Russell Lander's life story. Lone Star, 1776. Uh, target tracker. Okay. Oh, this is great. I got to watch this. Eight plants that repel mosquitoes and other insects naturally. I'm going to go get dozens of seeds for these. Natural ways. Uh, let's see. Lone Star, Russell Lander's letter from... Cherry Hall Prison. Hey, check that out. Lone Star, 1776. I think this has to do with the uh, the Bundy thing going on out there. Um, home Yog. Oh, I uh, I was going to unsubscribe, but there's such great information because you got like a picture. It's a unfortunately I'm going to scroll to it. Uh, it was a little I don't know, not too uh, morally ethical, so to say. Uh, place this garlic, uh, so what garlic does for you. <clears throat> uh, let's see, Newsbud. Exposed, Clinton train paid the Turks, young Turks, $20 million. Ah, so there you go, more Soros type of uh, mafia, Gestapo uh, protesting type of news. Star Child, Solar Eclipse Cross, uh, Mr. Gear. Christ, forgiveness, Ham Radio, official Hagman report. Hagman did a show last night uh, with David Langford. Turbulence ahead. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, that scared you. White House, Vice President Pence in Miami. Boy, watch your back there. Um, Hagman report, uh, the snapping of the American mind. Okay, uh, Cobalt report, is AI, artificial intelligence, real or is it all hype? Gotta be hype. Dirt patch. Finally, furniture. Whatever. Eric Berg had a fixed ankle pain. Uh, the guide to the unknown universe. Physics world. I uh, don't trust that. Eric Berg. Uh, the health benefit of zinc. This guy's great. If you ever just uh, in need of some uplifting uh, scripture, listen to this guy from the street talking to people. Uh, and for the most part, 99% of these people argue with him or don't believe him or give him a hard time. I think there's one video of him even getting like knocked down or something. But he gets right back up. He did it on the train a couple weeks ago. It was great. You're stuck in the train. <laughs> you got no way to go. He just starts preaching. Uh, go check him out. Christ forgiveness. David Lynn. Off grid with Doug and Stacey. So this was great. Um, for those of you that are buggers, preppers, um, 200 years ago, Here's what they did. They got, uh, there's like a, a store here. It's all simulated. Like what would be there? A store, um, a house, 
and an actual grinding mill, um, a mill grinder where they mill the, um, the uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, grains and turn it into flour. But it was huge. It was the size of a huge barn. Um, and it's a stone that actually would uh, pulverize. Uh, and animals would go around the circle with it and pulverize the grain into flour. Okay, we'll rise up against you, a nation, a lone star. That's obviously Christ. Christ's forgiveness. <clears throat> um, especially evangelistic mass deliverance service by David uh, Lynn. Full uh, the spectrum. He gives some good news here. Um, full spectrum survival world news update. Why is the entire solar system undergoing massive changes? Uh, it's definitely a, uh, what you call it, um, cosmic influence, radiation or something. Exploring abandoned mines and unusual places. Idaho. Five commercial airlines and military photo pilots who encountered UFOs and potential alien life. Common sense show. Housing bubbles starting to pop. Trouble ahead. Living off-grid McGarvey style. Chicken coop build part one. That's good to know. Uh, common sense show. Congress makes warrantless searches legal now. Going on for quite a while. Um, BLM, Ten Commandments for Whites. Really? Okay. Good luck with that. Uh, amazing Facts, Television, Shofar Ministry, Prophecy Update, Palestinians Warn Kushner of Armageddon. <clears throat> How come is it, why is it that all these other countries are always... I don't want to say blasphemy, but always beating their chest, always uh, threatening. Why is that? I mean, I don't hear the United States doing that. I understand we're the top dog in the planet, but uh, you don't hear us barking out threats. Sanctions, maybe. That's about it. Um, Bilderberg, inside notes of meeting. Vaguely. Bravo, alternative news, day 121. Day 217, Jared Kushner meets the leader of America, um, and then also Netanyahu. All right, what else? Give me something else. Give me something good here. Come on. Two false witnesses to safeguard the seat of the Antichrist. Israeli News Live with, um, that's, um, what's his name? Uh, Steve, Stephen Ben Danun. Dirt Patch, preparing Winter Garden in August. I watched this, and just her sitting in front of the camera like I do. Um, I was expecting this build-out to be shown, which is great. I love this because it's simply a dome with a piece of plastic over it. So it's got to be cheap to do that. All right, Tracking Harvey, April Waters. Come on, what else? Some of this is real important, but uh, <clears throat> trying to limit my uh, time here. Well, this should be good. Uh, the revolting man, practical, tactical, <laughs> home defense made simple. Uh, new health care bill uses $45 billion in taxpayers' money to fight the opioid epidemic. Uh, I don't know about that much. Um, it's need. It, it, it's a fight that has to be fought. I don't think. I don't know if you could put a dollar sign on it so much, but it does help. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So of course, again, the typical uh, hurricane is causing long lines for gas, water uh, running out of the shelves. Um, people not prepared, you know, I'm prepared. You don't see me rushing to the store. I always got 10 gallons, 20 gallons on hand. 
Uh, let's see. All right, I think that's it. 21 hours ago. Oh, what's this? Julian Assange to join us at Rand Paul, Ron Paul uh, Institute Conference 2017. That should be good. Weird plant growth, volunteer hay plants. All right, that's it. I'm going to wrap it up. Let me see what the... I'm going to respond to somebody here. Later, mosquito heat garlic. Oh, that's good. Another uh, reply. I'll get a garden full of garlic. All right. Uh, well, folks, uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for joining. Please share. Please like. Um, donate if you can. Uh, buy some material if you can. Buy a Bible if you can. Uh, if you have not yet given your life to Jesus Christ, you could do so right here, right now, uh, with this simple prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this minute, uh, this um, opportunity to come before you, Lord. I repent and confess of my sins, Lord. Uh, I accept your Son, Jesus, as my Savior. Uh, please uh, write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Wash me in the Lamb's blood. Uh, I confess all of my sins to you, Lord, and repent of them because they offend you. I believe your Son died on the cross for my sins. I believe he's coming back again. I believe he rose from the dead, and I believe he ascended to heaven. Please have mercy on my soul, now and at the hour of my death. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you have just repeated that, congratulations. You are now a member of the family of God. Welcome to uh, soon his heavenly sanctuary. Uh, first, you must, get, must go get baptized, fully submerged in water at a local church near you. Tell them you got saved, tell them you got born again, and you need to be baptized, fully submerged in water. If they won't do it, go to another church. If they won't do it, go to another church. No, keep going until you find a church within 24 hours. Very important you do this right away. Uh, then get yourself a Bible and uh, continuously to study the Word every single day. If you uh, want a waterproof Bible that floats, I highly recommend you do that. Uh, we sell them on our website, and you can help support the website by buying it there as well at onedropshower.org. Uh, I spell it out, O-N-E, onedropshower.org. And there's other links there, too, as well, to find, like, this website, the news website that we use, uh, and the buoys. Oh, speaking of which, I'm going to go look at those buoys in Texas there, so go check that out. And also um, uh, donation links, too, as well. If you want emergency survival supplies, that's another way you could support us, by going to our website at ambertracks.com that's amber like the color tracks like railroad tracks.com and if you need a bunker or want to consult be a, <clears throat> hire me as a consultant uh, to advise you on building a bunker and or survival techniques stockpiling before during after uh, you can hire me daily to do that in the northeast united states here uh, at our website worthingtonbunkers.com that's worthingtonbunkers.com. All right, folks, thanks for coming. God bless you, and we'll see you tomorrow on the Sabbath. God willing, around, I don't know, 1 or 2, 2 o'clock, 1 or 2 p.m., somewhere around there. God bless you. Bye-bye.